In the annals of Earth's prehistoric past, one category of dinosaurs stands out not only for their immense size, but also for their commanding presence at the top of the ancient food chain, the theropods. Among these formidable creatures, there exists a select group that holds the title of the largest theropods ever to roam the planet. On number three, we have Giganotosaurus. The late Cretaceous saw the emergence of the powerful theropod dinosaur Giganotosaurus, which left its imprint on the ancient South American environments. Giganotosaurus was a member of the Carcharodontosaurida family, which included Mapusaurus and Carcharodontosaurus, as well as other huge theropods. Giganotosaurus was a formidable predator, albeit not as large as its well-known related Tyrannosaurus rex. It weighed around 8 tons and reached a maximum length of 40 feet. Its robust jaw and keen teeth show that its skull anatomy evolved for effective carnivory, allowing it to hunt and eat huge animals. Giganotosaurus most likely lived in areas with a wide variety of prey, such as giant herbivorous dinosaurs like Argentinosaurus. The cohabitation of these carnivorous giants alongside other predators, including Mapusaurus, is shown by fossil evidence, suggesting a complex ecological interaction between them. According to paleontologists, the Giganotosaurus was a swift and nimble predator that used its quickness and intelligence to outwit and outlast its victims. Its lightweight bones and well-developed hind limbs indicate an evolutionary focus on mobility, making it a capable hunter within its ecology. We have Tyrannosaurus rex at number 2. T-Rex, sometimes referred to as Tyrannosaurus rex, is one of the most recognizable and dangerous predators in the dinosaur world. This enormous theropod ruled over the ancient North American landscapes during the late Cretaceous epoch. Known for its enormous stature, T-Rex could grow to a maximum length of 40 feet and a maximum weight of around 9 tons. One of T-Rex's most defining characteristics was its strong, muscular hind limbs, which gave it exceptional movement and agility for a beast of size. By contrast, paleontologists have long speculated about its unusually tiny and apparently useless forelimbs. The enormous, sharp teeth on T-Rex's gigantic cranium allowed it to shatter bones with a single bite. Its strong jaw muscles and fortified cranium, in particular, point to a unique adaptation for delivering bites strong enough to render prey incapacitated. T-Rex specimens with healed bite scars are more likely to be belligerent and engage in intraspecific interactions, which may be connected to mating rituals or territorial conflicts. Additionally, the evidence from paleontology points to T-Rex being a scavenger who could take advantage of natural death or corpses left by other predators. Recent findings, on the other hand, point to a more complex picture suggesting that T-Rex may have functioned as both a predator and a scavenger, changing its eating habits in response to changes in the surrounding environment and the availability of food. On number one, we have Spinosaurus, a massive theropod dinosaur that ruled the rivers in the late Cretaceous epoch was called Spinosaurus. Found in North Africa, especially in Morocco and Egypt, this enormous predator is identified by the characteristic cell-like structure generated by extended neural spines along its back. These spines, which may have been covered in skin and were thin sail, distinguished Spinosaurus from other theropods and have aroused curiosity in the scientific community about their potential use. Although the fossil record is not complete, it suggests that Spinosaurus may grow to a maximum length of 50 to 59 feet which would make it perhaps the biggest theropod dinosaur yet discovered. The skeletal characteristics of this dinosaur point to a semi-aquatic existence, with traits like conical teeth, long, thin jaws, and maybe webbed feet suggesting a preference for aquatic settings. Because Spinosaurus had both aquatic and terrestrial adaptations, scientists have hypothesized that it was a specialized pistivore that mostly hunted fish. Lush river systems and old deltas constituted the paleoenvironment that supported Spinosaurus. The dinosaur's large jaws, which are useful for biting through slick food, and its webbed feet, which indicate that it was a skilled swimmer, support the theory that it lived mostly in water. Additionally, the cohabitation of Spinosaurus in the same environment as other tough dinosaurs such as the giant herbivorous dinosaur Oranosaurus and the gigantic theropod Carcharodontosaurus is shown by fossilized evidence. If you enjoyed this journey through the realms of ancient giants, be sure to subscribe for more captivating insights into the wonders of paleontology. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, keep exploring the mysteries of our planet's past.